Hi everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome, welcome to another video with me. And today I'm going to share with you how I created this bauble using the fabulous Winter Cottage, the small one. This is the new release from Sweet Poppy. The Harmony backplate for the stenciling there. And then I've used some miniature stars. I've coloured it in with some coloured pencils and I'm using some snow. The type of locket style bauble that I'm using is a flat locket style. I love this. It gives us a nice lot of space. It gives a really lovely look. And so I'll show you it all. We'll get started. So we're going to need some coloured pencils and an assortment of colours. I'm using Derwent Inktense pencils. I just love the vibrant, bright colours. I've got some yellows, browns and greens there. A pair of scissors. A sponge, blending brush and my colours that I'm using. I'm using Versafine Clear Twilight and Nocturne for my stamping. And then for my stenciling, I've got Blueprint Sketch. And if any of you followed me for a while, you'll know how much I love, love that colour. As I said, I'm using the gorgeous new Harmony Backplate, Winter Cottage Small and the Miniature Stars, which are from Lavinia, but stocked by Sweet Poppy Stencils. So you can get everything you need for this project from Sweet Poppy, apart from the baubles. Now, the baubles that I'm going to be using, they are, as I said, the locket style two-part bauble. You can see I'm being very careful not to touch the inside of the bauble. Once you do that, the static from your fingers means that everything else sticks to it, including the snow. So I'm keeping my fingers well away from the inside. They come in two parts and there's a little lip on the inside of this bauble. So I'm going to take a piece of card. I'm using 300 GSM card, turning it upside down. And with my pencil, I'm just going to draw around the outside of my bauble. I'm going to pop this back. And then with my scissors, I'm going to cut on the inside of my circle line because there's a little lip in the inside of these baubles. And I've drawn around the outside. I want this to sit into that lip. So it's a little big. So I'm just going to trim it round. If you've got a die, you might the same size you might be able to cut them and then fit perfectly in. You can buy these baubles in all sorts of shapes, parts, ovals, etc. The process for creating your inside pieces is exactly the same. OK, there we've got it. Now, I'm actually going to cut two pieces like this because I'm going to do an image on the front and an image on the back because these are double-sided baubles. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to take Versafine Clear Nocturne and we're going to ink up this gorgeous winter cottage. It is lovely because there's some detail in it which means that we don't have to do all the colouring. We can use the shading from the stamp and I'm just going to pop that into my circle. Then I'm going to take my Harmony back plate. I'm going to lay it over my stamped image and I'm going to take my blueprint sketch. I'm using one of the Sweet Poppy blending brushes and I'm just going to blend all around the edge of my design. I'm keeping this moving in a circular motion. That way I don't get too many scratches. So we've just created some texture on the back of our gorgeous design. I'm going to take my miniature stars and I'm gonna ink it up in twilight. 
I love this little stamp. Look at it. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm just going to create some stars in the night sky around our little cottage. Might do one more down there. Voila, there we have it. And now we have the fun bit, which is colouring it in. Now, you remember at school we were told not to colour in the lines, colour outside the lines. Well, <laughs> this one is so easy, you can't not. So I'm first of all, I'm going to take my yellows, browns, and oranges. And I'm going to take this one, which is called Sicilian yellow. It's a bit like a straw colour. And I'm going to colour just on the shading of this stamp. Because in my mind, the top of the roofs of this cottage is covered in snow. So I don't need to colour the whole thing in. But I do want to give it some depth with some of this shading. And just covering, colouring around the edge of this roof here. The door. And then I'm going to take my three sort of orangey, browny, beigey colours. And I'm going to colour in very randomly some of these bricks in this gorgeous little cottage. You can see I'm not being too careful. I'm not colouring them in very specifically. I'm just creating blocks, tiny blocks of colour in and around the bricks. I'm making sure that I colour in a bright colour the tops of the windows so that they stand out a little. And then I'm going to take, this is a brownie colour. So it looks like that mottled effect that you do get in bricks. It's so much fun because, as I say, you don't have to be too careful. You don't have to worry about going out the lines. Voila! Because this is a shaker bauble and it is going to be covered in snow. Now, whilst I do know the trees will be covered in snow, I am going to give a bit of green into some of these bottom branches or leaves so that we've just got an additional bit of colour here and there. And I just chose two greens to give me a bit of contrast. Look at that, how easy is that? I actually might take a bit of brown and colour in the chimney pots. And there we have it, a gorgeous little cottage all coloured up. Now, I said they were double-sided, so in true Blue Peter style, I have already finished the second side. I'm going to bring back my baubles. Well, my bauble. Actually, let me clear this for you so that you get to see it without all the ink marks. So you'll see these two-part baubles. This one has got a rim. And we're going to place some snow in there, then place this one face down, place this one on top and put some more snow in there before we close it up. That's how it works. The only thing you need to remember is this is obviously going to be the top of the bauble. So you want to make sure that when you put your image in, it's facing the right way up. So it's going to go that way up. And now I'm going to get my snow. There are two types of snow that I use. I use this gorgeous ice diamond snow. It's from Pin Flare Crafts. And it's really, can you pick that up? It's really glittery. I love it. It is my favourite of all time. But something that's a little more readily available is this one from The Range. I've got my little spoon here. And it's much fluffier snow. 
So they've put little bits of tinsel in it, etc. So whichever is more easy for you to find or you prefer the look of. I'm going to put some of my ice diamond in and I'm just going to pop a tiny bit into the bottom. Make sure that I put my little cottage in the right way up. Pop my cottage, the second one, on top of it. And then I'm going to put another bit of snow in this side. Then you can stick a tiny bit of glue on the edges here, which I might do today. That way you're going to glue this, this glue that I'm using. I use Cosmic Shimmer glue. It dries clear. It dries pretty quickly. That way I'm going to make sure that these baubles stay stuck together. And then I'm just going to flick. Did you hear that snap? And there we have our bauble. Isn't that so much fun? So naturally, you can put as much snow in there or as little as you like. Now for the ribbons. And you can go mad with these ribbons. The, the length ribbon I usually use about 35 centimetres, but it depends on how, where you're going to hang it, your tree, etc. I've cut my ribbons with a little angle. You can see it easier in this. There you go. Because that way it's much easier to stuff it through the hole. Right, so I'm going to use one piece of ribbon, which is going to be my hanging loop. I always keep a spare set of scissors, especially for ribbons. These do not go anywhere near my paper because the paper will blunt them. And then I'm just going to tie my little ribbon round. So I'm now going to take this contrasting ribbon and I'm going to tie it around the top of this bauble. So I'm having the bauble facing me, holding this first ribbon that I tied. And I'm just going to tie it quite close to the top so that this is straight. And then I'm going to just tie a little bow. And of course, it always takes a tiny bit of little fiddling to make sure it's nice, pretty, solid. And hanging down just like that. Now, I also happen to have these lovely beaded strings. This has got a white and a silver. And I'm just going to pop this on top of this ribbon so that it can just hang down as well. It's a bit tricky to tie these because they've got their little baubles and they, it doesn't flow as easily as ribbon does. But a little bit of fiddling and you'll get it to tie. And there we have it. Look at that. A lovely little bauble with our little ribbons hanging down, hanging beautifully on your tree. So I do hope you've enjoyed that. I do hope you'll have a go. Please ask if you've got any questions and I'll be back again soon. Bye for now.